so do our bodies. Countless biochemical reactions and physical functions occur concurrently within our bodies. Without learning and thinking that come subjectively, the thousands of activities that happen within us are the extension and action of Tao. And all together, it is one single self. It functions naturally and automatically without the need for our intents to be involved. This is the effect of Tao within us. Tao is not only in control of the universe and nature, but also in charge of every human being in his slash her own actions. In other words, it is the same source that governs us as well as everything else. Tao is invisible and intangible, but it has been working out its magic before day one. Thereafter, languages, cultures, religious scriptures, literature, and civilization were developed. They all originate from Tao functioning within us. People don't realize it is Tao that has been residing and working within us and have used soul to represent the confusing and yet irrefutable being. Because it is eternal and intangible, we also call it true self. This true self is the most abundant, brilliant, and imperishable being. Let us take a look at our tangible body and see if it can be the true self. We know the pictures taken throughout one as life show different faces and expressions. We recognize people by face, but our looks change and are not permanent. The handicapped, with impaired arms or legs, can also lead a complete life. One with a transplanted animal heart is still a human being. Even our brain cells keep decreasing and changing every second from the moment we were born. Therefore, the physical body is only the interim residence of the true self. Though it seems so real, solid and alive, it turns into dirt eventually. We call it false self because of its tentative and transient nature. By recognizing the difference between the true self and the false self, we understand the reason and importance for us to receive Tao. Luckily, we are given the opportunity of receiving Tao and learning the three treasures. The three treasures are straightforward yet profound. The meaning and details of them will be illustrated through the rite of receiving Tao. Here, we only discuss two issues. First, by receiving Tao, the true self gets plunked out. It leads to our conscience. Upon the time when material pursuance surpasses spiritual seeking, giving up the true self only makes us a walking corpse. In order to fulfill